Hey everyone, Nick at Blood Cells Audio here. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the DO Mix, which is a new 5 channel mono to stereo mixer for Eurorack. DO, at least in my brain, stands for direct output, and that is the main reason this thing exists. I wanted to record not only the main left and right mix, but also each individual channel separately, such that I could go into the DAW later and do a remix or touch things up in some way. On top of that, sometimes modular being what it is, there's just cool randomly awesome things that happen on individual tracks. And of course, once those are buried in that main mix, that's it. Which that commitment is great sometimes, but you know, say channel two had something cool on it that happened, I wanted to be able to dive into its isolated track, sample it, or cut it apart and do something else with it. And finally, a nice advantage of having direct outs in the modular realm is that even if you don't want to record them into the DAW, you can always use them to route a channel to other parts of your rack as a simple buffered mult. Okay, aside from a direct out, each channel has standard mixer features. All the level faders go from off to plus 6 dB of gain. There's muting, panning, as well as mono aux send and mono or stereo return. And the master channel has left and right outs and the same off to plus 6 dB of gain. So let's take a quick look at how this could be used. For this, I'm using all the inputs on the mixer from sources in the Eurorack and have a snake running into my Apollo interface from all five direct outs, as well as the mains. And if you're familiar, I've got the Strymon Big Sky Reverb looped into the aux send and return. On the lower left, you'll see the Apollo console software showing things as they come in. Direct outs are muted currently, since I really only want to monitor the mains. On the top, we've got a digital performer session to record all five direct outs, as well as the mains. And now I'm just gonna mess around for a bit, we'll see what happens, and we can just see how this thing can be used in the wild. All right, from here, it's up to you. We have the final mix and can of course also solo up and tweak any of the individual channels from the direct outputs. That's all for now. Thank you for the time and hit me up if you have any questions. More info at bloodcellsaudio.com.